Hi everyone. I just recently made the table for my drill press and I said I was going to be making knobs on the X-Carve. Well today I did just that. Here's my first knob that I did on the X-Carve and it turned out fantastic. This is something that's easy to do and you can make knobs very easily for your tools and quit spending four or five dollars buying them at the big box store. Let me show you how I did it today. Let's get started. So this morning I decided to make the knobs for my table for the drill press and the first thing that I did is I just created a little hexagon and the size needed to be for my quarter 20 nut. I'm going to make that as an insert and I'm going to use epoxy to glue that in place. To get the size this is 0.425 and by 0.491. The way I got these numbers is I used the calipers. Okay, I took my quarter 20 nut and just put it onto a, a carriage bolt to be able to make it easier to handle. And I have my uh, calipers and I went ahead and took this measurement and that's where I have the 0 0.42. And I'm going to show that to you in the camera. So that is going to be the width, and I rounded up, I gave it another five thousandths of an inch just for a little bit of clearance. And then for the height, for the long side, I took and measured that, and you can see that the exact measurement is 0.48. And I made that slightly bigger as well, and I put that in as a 0.491. And with that measurement, then I went ahead and created the outline. And with the hex nut created, I did keep this as a fill. I also measured the depth that I want to be able to cut this. And that nut was 0.21 inches. So I went ahead and set my depth for the 0.21 inches. And that should create a perfect pocket for this to fit in. The next thing that I did is I'm going to move this down to my zero zero point. And to be able to do that, select the center, and then I'm going to set this at zero. And I'll set this one at zero as well. And now that is going to be my XY zero point, which will be the center point of the nut. Now I did a test cut, and that's what it actually looks like. Get it around here where you can see it. Okay, now I want to take my nut and be able to put it right into that slot. And you can see that fits perfectly. And let me take this out. That is a perfect fit. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the outline and cut a couple of knobs. So I have my two inch circle and I have it set up where the center point is at the six inches on the X axis, four inches on the Y axis. That also gives me the precise point for these other four points. The next thing I'm going to do is just create another circle. And this time, I'm going to make this circle smaller. Okay, I have my second circle. And what I'm going to do is change the size of it. So I have this locked. And I'm going to change this to 0.75 of an inch. Then what I'm going to do is change the color. Because I don't want it to cut the same depth. And I want to see the difference in this. So I'm just going to make it shallower for the moment. And the other thing I want to do while I'm here is make four copies because we're going to put four of these around my larger circle. So we're going to hit Control C, Control V, and do that 
So I have all four circles and those circles are exactly the same. And then what I'm going to do is position these circles directly into this point. And now we'll get the coordinates set exactly. So this one is going to be th 6 and 3. So let's go back over here. I'll put that one at 6. This at 3. And now that's exactly at the right point. And I'll repeat this process. This one is at 7 and 4. Now I have that one in place. And I'll move right on around. That one will be at 6 and 5. And the last one that I need to do that one will be at my 5 and that will be at 4. Now then with those all now exactly where I want them the next thing I'm going to go ahead and change the depth. Now when I did this I changed them as I went through but I wanted to make sure it was very clear on how I did this process for you guys. Okay, now that I have all the circles in place, they're at zero cut depth, I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything. And now you can see all of them showing up. And I'm going to come up to edit, and I'm going to hit combine and now this is a single object and that's going to be the knob now that I do not want this as a fill I want to be able to cut this as an outline and I want to cut it on the outside the other thing is I don't want it this large so all I need to be able to do is just scale it down to the size that I want and then from there we'll slide it over in place and we'll be ready to cut. To slide this over in place, we're going to do it the same way that we did for our cutout for our nut. And we're going to take this right here. It's located in the center point. That's where I want it. So we're going to go ahead and select and put this as zero. And we'll put this as zero for the Y axis. And now that moves it we're directly over and centered. I want to check my cut depth. My cut depth is going to be 0.49, and that's good. My thickness of the wood is 0.51. That will leave me just a little bit of room to be able to clean it up with the um, disc sander. I went ahead and carved the first one, which was the small knob, and then I changed the size and went ahead and carved four more that I'm going to need for a future project as well. And here's the completed knob right off of the CNC machine. And the only thing that I've done is just taken a little piece of sander, sanding paper and just sanded the edges just a little bit. And that is it. Let's see how this fits. So here's my quarter 20 nut. We're going to just slide it right in there. That fits perfect. The only other thing I'm going to do now is take it over to the drill press and I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole, my quarter inch hole through the center and then I'm going to epoxy that nut into place. Okay, With my quarter inch hole drilled, let's go ahead and test this and then we'll epoxy it in place. That looks good. That works perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and epoxy this nut in place. And I must say, this is the smallest knob that I've ever made. And I don't think I could have done it without the CNC machine. Now you don't need much epoxy for this. So I'm just going to take this and run it around the outside.
and that should be plenty. There we go. I have that in place. I'll go ahead and screw that. And there's the knob. We'll just let this sit up and dry for a few minutes. Yeah, I've got all of these knobs cut out. And one of the things that I've realized with the tolerance that are so close on inserting this nut, I don't even need to put the epoxy in it. So at this point, I'm going to say the epoxy is actually optional. You don't really need to do it. If you want to, by all means, go ahead and do so. But this works real well. I have found that using the screw like this to be able to help insert it makes it much easier. So that you want to give a try. I think it's great to have these types of knobs that can be made in just a couple of minutes on the X carve and to be able to save four or five dollars a piece, that's a good trade-off. And just like that, I've got four knobs that are finished. You can also see with the CNC machine, without really doing anything other than changing the size, you can make any type of knob that you wish whether it's a little bit larger or smaller. And like I said earlier, this is the smallest one that I have made, and it was still very easy on the CNC machine. And these knobs, I'm sure, are going to be very useful in the future. The first two are already on my table on the drill press, and I've got some more attachments that are coming that I'm going to use these other knobs for. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also, check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.